and welcome to Little Jack. We call him Little Jack or Baby Jack since I have a human Jack. Um, welcome to his dog training lesson. So I'm just gonna go over everything we've been working on. I will show you the hand cues so that you can keep practicing at home. Uh, some of the behaviors, I know you already started, but I just wanna show you where we are at. You will, uh, you'll hear me say yes sometimes. Yes is my marker word. It's telling Jack that he got it correct and a treat is coming. So if I was not going to treat a behavior, I wouldn't say yes. Yeah, I would just um, say good boy or praise him or pet him. But if I mark it with yes, food is always coming. Um, one thing I want to say, since he's just being so good right now, is especially with puppies, all dogs, but especially puppies who can be very busy and chew stuff and get into stuff. When they are just being calm and still and sweet, we really gotta make a point to acknowledge that behavior, right? So I did ask him to lay down. I did not say stay. I just asked for a down when I went to turn the camera on. And you know, and he held the down, he's looking at me. So things I wanna watch out for is if my puppy is just being calm and still, to go over and pet them, to maybe go over and elicit play, to go give a treat. So um, I'm gonna call him to me, but I'm not gonna ask him to do anything, or if he's already gonna be here, I'm just gonna wait. Oh, see, I like that. I like that we go right into a sit, so I can pet him and love on him, right? Acknowledge that behavior. Good boy, Jack. He's a good boy. Yes. Good. So I'm not asking him to do anything. I'm just letting him choose. I'm letting him throw something out to me. Right now, if he decided, good boy, to bark or to grab my pant leg or just jump up, any of those behaviors that I might not like, I'm like, where'd he go? Any of those things I might not like, I don't need to make a big deal out of, right? I don't need to be like, no, stop, get down, whatever just simply ignoring it, right? So say he jumps up and I go, oh, okay, I can just turn away and basically go, you know, when you do those behaviors, that turns me off. My switch is turned off, I ignore you. But when you do these behaviors I like, like choosing to lay down and be sweet, you know, even if he maybe like picked up a toy and brought it over, I like that too. So I could go, okay, when you bring me a toy, I'll engage with play with you. So um, just always be aware of that. Be aware that when our dogs are being calm and still and sweet that we don't take it for granted, but we let them know we truly like that behavior. So, okay, so when we're training, you can absolutely use his dog. So if you hear me say treat, you can be using his dog food. Like you can be doing his food. I use, um, I do have some treats and I have his dog food in my treat pouch. And then I have like another basically dry kibble dog food that I'm using as a reward for him. Um, if we were going to go practice where there's big distractions, like when we went to Home Depot, I did mix his kibble in, but then he got a better treat that he doesn't normally get because we're working in a super high distraction area. So if you were going to have guests or friends over, or you're going to a patio and you want him to be good while the waiter comes up, Bring a really good treat for those moments. Just something that's special that he does not get all the time. So distractions are high. We're going to meet it with a really good reward. Um, okay, you're being so good, Jack. I'm just going to start running through the behaviors. Um, typically, I will say the word first and then the hand signal second. So it would be saying sit. Right, so I have verbal cue, visual cue. Uh, we're going to start out since he's kind of laying down. I'm going to do touch. Touch is a nose bump to your hand. Uh, we did not start bell training, but um, because he's learning touch, you can easily transfer touching your palm over to touching a bell to tell you he needs to go outside and go potty. So good, touch, yes. So I'm gonna say yes, I'm marking the behavior right when his nose hits the palm of my hand. So yes is telling him got it right, that he got it right and food is coming. Jack, touch. Okay, so <laughs> that moment he didn't touch. He offered a sit, he offered a down, which are nice, but it's not what I asked for. So I can just ignore it, right? No feedback is feedback. Jack, touch. Yes, there we go. That's a good boy. 
touch. Touch. Oh no. Jack, touch. Touch. Yes. Touch is a newer one for him. So it's okay. I'm gonna use touch to bring him in. Yes, there you go, to bring him in close to me. Um, it can be an alternative way to call him to come. So if I do touch, good boy. Yes, there you go, that's it. He's like, okay, just had to figure it out. Um, it's a way to call him to come. It's a way to get him in close to you. I especially like using touch when I'm out and um, maybe I'm at a place like Home Depot or at a restaurant where I'm talking to people and I don't necessarily want to be asking for big behaviors, but I want him checking in with me. I can be doing the touch, but holding a conversation up here that he's going to be focused on just hitting my palm. Touch. Yes. That's very good. Good job, buddy. Okay. So we have our touch. When we're doing touch, so if he doesn't get it and my hand is just here, things I can do to help him are move my hand, right? Oh, he is a good boy. Because that movement will get him to follow, okay? Uh, lowering my hand will help. Are you trying to do it now? He's like, now I got it. Touch. Yes. The other thing that helps on oh, touch, good boy, is if I look at my palm. Okay, so I look where I want him to go. I move it, keep it low. Uh-huh. Yup, all those things will help. All right, so now we're gonna go into watch me sit down and stand. So as you're working on sit down, stand, watch me, always you can be working on duration. So it's not just sit and then he pops back up, but we ask him to sit and if he holds the sit, we can reward again. If he holds the down, we can reward again without saying stay, right? Almost implied that like if I ask you to do a behavior, hold it for a little bit and I'll reward you if you do hold it. So um, Jack, sit. Yes, good. So right, so I've yesed him, but then if he keeps holding it, I can reward him again. So, and you can vary, like sometimes you can keep it real short and snappy, and other times you can go for duration, go for much longer. Down, yes, oh, that's so cute. Okay, so sit his palm up. If you guys have taught this or something a little different, it's fine, he can learn whatever, but I do sit his palm up, down, his palm down. Now, say I did this and he doesn't get it, it's okay if I need to bend over a little bit, but my ultimate goal is that I can stand up straight and say down. And he has it. Okay, now I think a new one for y'all is doing stand. You know, we don't spend a ton of time on it, but what stand's gonna look like, this will be the cue, but I'm gonna come down lower. And stand we can do from sit or down, and it's going from a sit or down position into standing up on all fours. Okay, stand. Yes. So I am looking at his hips right there. So when I'm yesing, I'm waiting for his hips to come all the way up, and that's when I'm giving the yes. Good check, sit, good boy. So see right there, I just said, good boy. I wasn't treating the sit. I can praise him all I want, okay? But if I say yes, I give a treat. If I say good boy, I can just be praising. Watch me. Good boy, stand. Yes, again, watching the hips. Now I can hold it. Sometimes stands, even though it's like, it's such a simple behavior, we always stand. Because we ask so much for sits and downs, they start to think like any working behavior should be like your butt on the ground. But sometimes we want them to stand if we're grooming them at the vet's office, if you're wiping off dirty paws, if you're putting a harness on. Um, and it's also a behavior that can go in between sit and down. So it's not always sit down, sit down. It might be sit, Stand, down, stand, sit. You can mix it up. Good. So now I'm just gonna play around with the behaviors. Sit. Watch me, his fist to chin. Watch me. Doesn't matter what his body's doing. I'm just looking for eye contact. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. All right. So watch me is kind of, if, you know, if he's looking at me, He's thinking about me. 
if he's looking out the window or whatever else, that's where his brain is. So I want his brain to be focused on me. Watch me. Yes. Oh boy. I'm rewarding a lot right now. Um, as he gets better and better, you can reward less and less and less. It doesn't have to be one behavior, one treat, but he is a baby and this is all new. So big things that we want to think about is not having a treat in our hands. So having empty hands and asking, you know, using the hand signals, treating from our pocket, treating from a treat pouch, maybe a cup over here. And as he gets better, then we can do several behaviors for one treat. Okay, and we start chaining the behaviors together. So I'm gonna play around with that. Touch. Oh, touch. Yes. So I'm gonna treat the touch because that one he's not great at and I wanna help him get it right. But he is good at sitting down. Sit. Down. Watch me. Stand. Yes. Right, so that was several behaviors for one treat. Down, oh, that was tougher, right? Because that was a down from a standing position. Mm, we could do down to sit. We haven't practiced that a lot, but let's, let's just try. Sit, oh, look at you. Stand, sit, down. Watch me, watch me. We're gonna give him a little break. Hand cues, watch me. Sit, down, stand, touch. Right here, come on. Touch, yes. If you were doing the bells in the beginning, you could take the doggy bells and hold them, like have your hand behind there and do touch. And he'll be targeting your hand, but it'll hit the bells. And so it's a way to start making that connection and that will help. All right.